I have nothing funny to say for this cold open. Just want to come on here and say thank you for watching this video. Whatever you had to do, you clicked on it, tapped on it. Whatever you're doing, you're taking the time out of your day to watch this video, and I thank you. True North Review. True North Reviews. True North Review. Hey there, welcome to True North Reviews. My name is Ryan, and today we are doing an episode of Hot and Cold. This is a video series I like to do where I talk about the best and worst music I heard over the past week, the hot being the best, the worst being the cold, and some middle of the road tracks. As always, the songs will be linked down below in the description for you to check out, for you to listen to, do all those kinds of things. And while you're down there, make sure to send me some requests, any recommendations for new songs, keep me on top of any new stuff that is is coming out. We have one request to get to this week. It is from Ben. He always keeps me going. Uh, this track that he gave me is by Fabiana Palladino. It is called Waiting. And with this track, there is a soothing electronic instrumental on here. Uh, a bit of a modernized kind of refresh take on what sounds like a Pet Shop Boys song. It is fairly decent. Moving on to the hot tracks, the best of the past week though. First up, we have Anderson Pack featuring Rick Ross on Cut Em In. I can't say it as cool as Anderson Pack could, but this is a banger. This is like must listen music this week. Crank it up loud because it is a banger. Uh, production masterpiece as well. And just when you think the song is over, Anderson comes in with a harder and faster flow. Moving on from there, we have Idols with their latest single, Model Village. Uh, I voiced my concerns with Idols in their previous single, but Model Village seems to be putting them back on track. It is raw, it is loud, it is energetic, rhythmic as well. Uh, everything you need for an Idols single to be a jam. Next up, we have Sam Roberts' band on I Like The Way You Talk About The Future. It has a slick, kind of groovy bass line to it, uh, hypnotic with the synth work as well. It's like Sam Roberts Band and Yukon Blonde were on the same wavelength this past week. More about their new single later on in this video. In the meantime, we have Burna Boy featuring Chris Martin on Monsters You Made. Uh, the verses on here got to be pretty repetitive, but I, I love the chorus melody from Chris Martin, what he uh, chimes in on with this track. I also appreciate how the two artists, uh, regardless of Burna Boy sounding repetitive, uh, both of the artists on here, uh, they come across with something very creative over top of the the Dirty Diana sample. Yes, MJ. Moving on, we have Morgan Wallen with his new single, Seven Summers. Uh, I am a bit surprised to see that I've liked both Morgan Wallen singles that we've gotten this year so far. Uh, this new track from him, though, is uh, calm, it is cool, it is collected, uh, easy to put on as the summer days are winding down and uh, coming to an end poignantly uh, fitting lyrics on that one too. Use My Voice by Evanescence is a melodramatic rock track. It is a hot track this week as well. A catchy chorus on there. It's everything that you could ever want from Evanescence. Dorian Electra has two new singles out this past week with Gentleman and My Lady. Uh, both of them are pretty abbreviated, but they still fit in three choruses, I think, in there, uh, two verses as well. Gentleman has lots of saxophone, lots of low-end bass, a quirky beat to it. Uh, My Lady, though, is very forward-thinking. It is like dubstep from the future mixed with medieval-sounding strings. The vocal performance on that one might scare away some people because it is pretty breathy, um, very coarse, it's all sung up in the throat, uh, but the beat drop, it goes way too hard to ignore this week. Just like this next track from Baby No Money, don't want to skip it on this one, he teams up with Young Gravy and Lentra on the track Jack Money Bean, uh, banging beat on this one as well, uh, solid performances from all rappers involved, and there is a shout out in the lyrics to Honey Nut Cheerios because who doesn't love Honey Nut Cheerios? Mm. Next up, we have the Darcy's with their single, Look Me In The Eyes. It sounds like they are taking one out of the Half Moon Run playbook with the title. And when I first heard this track, I was underwhelmed. I accidentally scrubbed and skipped ahead to the chorus and I wasn't really impressed with it. Uh, but in the full context of the song, going back, re-listening to it from start to finish, obviously, I'm starting to get the hang of the glossy and sanitized mix. There's also a 
super catchy tune on here, so I commend it. And wrapping up the hot tracks this week, we have Metric with their song Empty. It is the Dirt Road acoustic remix of it, um, like most stuff from Metric. Whether it's acoustic, whether it's the full arrangement of the band uh, with lots of synthesizers, I love what they put out, so there's no surprise there. Now, moving on to the middle of the road tracks, these are still worth a shout out, not as great as the hot tracks, but uh, not as bad as the cold. First up, we have The Killers with their latest single, Dying Breed. It is another Alex Cameron penned track. Uh, the drums on here are the most monotonous part about it, uh, very dull and just yeah they don't sound that good in the mix and it takes a while for the song to get going till a two minute mark that's when the drums really kick in that's when the the song really kicks into high gear uh, a simple tune on here again uh, like most of the singles from the killers on this upcoming record very uh, bruce springsteen influenced and as much as i've loved the first few singles from this record there is a looming thought in the back of my head that this album is starting to sound very derivative of the boss, Mr. Bruce Springsteen himself. That concern might subside when we get the full record and we hear it in its full context, but uh, we'll have to see once that drops this Friday. Still looking forward to that album, very excited for it. It's one of my most anticipated this year. Uh, moving along though, we have Miley Cyrus, who's making a return on her latest single, Midnight Sky. Usually I don't care for Miley's voice, like I can tolerate it, I can enjoy it on some songs. This track though, Midnight Sky, she really doesn't flatter herself with that angsty, nasally crooning that she has on here. It really makes me dislike this track. Would also have liked to have seen a bit more from the production standpoint as well, uh, because it's just sounding like Carly Rae Jepsen, that kind of synth pop, and I've heard it uh, be done better. Moving along and ending the middle of the road tracks this week with all Canadian artists, uh, first up, we have Yukon Blonde on In Love Again. Uh, it's interesting to hear the band try out prog rock. Uh, this track is very much in the vein of the Flaming Lips. There is a forgettable tune on there, however. Uh, moving on, we have Drake featuring Lil Durk on the song Laugh Now, Cry Later. I like the beat on this one a lot from Cardo. The, the muted horns are pretty relaxing. Um, that being said, Drake... He's sounding like he's on autopilot as per usual. The singing, the rapping, although there is one part of the track that I think there's some potential for Drake to, I don't know, reinvigorate himself on this next record that he's teasing because this is the lead single for it. Uh, he comes alive on the the verse after Lil Durk has his feature. So there is a little bit of potential there for Drake, just wasn't really blown away by the whole song altogether, especially with Lil Durk's tiny feature. Nickelback featuring David Martone. They're up next on their track, The Devil Went Down to Georgia. This is a hard rock metal inspired cover of the Charlie Daniels band, that original track. Uh, there's lots of atonal riffs, very virtuosic on the guitar. I still prefer the original, but cheers to Nickelback for putting a new spin on a classic. Moving along, we have Legends Never Die by Orville Peck and Shania Twain, a couple Canadian country artists. This track to me, though, just sounds like a corny kind of country duet that you'd hear in a dive bar on karaoke night. Uh, the tune is fine. I, I just don't like the performances and how forced the collaboration feels. And lastly, for the middle of the road this week, we have James Barker band on that's what I'm talking about uh, overly compressed drums and bass on here uh, the tune is very Rolling Stones esque more rock leaning than it is country the vocals though are the only thing that would give that away giving it that country sound the tune it's all right much better than a lot of the older James Barker band songs that I've heard uh, especially in 2018 2019 that kind of time and wrapping up this week we have the cold tracks the worst of the worst and i was very disappointed with this first track i am putting up on the screen right now uh, because it is by duo lipa my celebrity crush anyways she's laying me down with this uh, remix of levitating one of the best songs off of future nostalgia obviously she's joining up with madonna and missy elliott on here 
the bar was kind of set low just because of those two artists. As I assumed coming into this track, the features made no sense why they're on here. Uh, they can't salvage anything. But I'm more so confused why Dua Lipa took away the layers of the vocals on the chorus. Uh, it definitely sucks the life out of this track. It is very skeletal. Also, very one note. The bass line is emphasized to be the focus of this track uh, for God knows what reason. Um, it's the least interesting part of the track, in my opinion. Anyways, I'm disheartened this week. I had to put Dua Lipa on the cold tracks after she put out what might be uh, the album of the year with Future Nostalgia. So keep on streaming it. Keep on streaming Levitating, just the original version. To match Dua Lipa with also a terrible track this week, we have Charlie Puth, who I've enjoyed a lot of music from him as well. Uh, he's... Uh, collaborating with Black Bear, so maybe it has something to do with collaborations, uh, I don't know. Hard On Yourself is the name of this track, though. I love the instrumental when Charlie Puth teased this on his Instagram story. Um, Black Bear just ruins the song. But we make do, and uh, lastly this week, we'll just emphasize that Black Bear hasn't been putting out good music because he's landing on this cold track list twice. Uh, this one is for his own song. It is called Lil Bit. Uh, the happiness that I had for all the songs on the hot tracks, even the middle of the road, uh, it kind of just depleted itself. I am not one bit happy to be talking about this track. Um, the lifeless production on here, terrible per performance. So yeah, just everything about it, not that good. That all being said, that's wrapping it up this week. That is hot and cold. Make sure you guys sound off down below in the comments. Let me know what you guys think of this music, whether you agree, disagree. I'm here to engage with you guys. If you'd like to leave a like, subscribe if you're new in town, I'd appreciate that. As always, thanks for watching and have a rockin' day. Thank you.